Hi lovelies, welcome or welcome back to Anne's Delicious Kitchen. In this video, I will share with y'all how to make chicken stew. This is a rich tomato based sauce which is packed with lots of flavors and can be enjoyed with rice, potatoes, spaghetti, yam, just to mention a few. Now, let's go through the list of ingredients. So here I have chicken wings, onions, scotch bonnet peppers, ginger, garlic cloves, chopped tomato, coconut oil, chili and garlic seasoning, bay leaves, pimento allspice, shrimp cubes, curry powder, southern fried seasoning, paprika powder, salt, tomato paste, and aniseed. I will start off by frying my ingredients for both my chicken wings and stew. This will serve as marinade. So as you can see, I have already added my coconut oil in my pot. Once it becomes hot, I will add three and a half scotch bonnet peppers two thumbs of ginger which has been cut into smaller pieces and six garlic cloves. To that I will add two sprigs of scallions, two red and two yellow onions which has been cut into smaller pieces and then you want to fry this for about three minutes on medium heat. After three minutes or when the ingredients are tender, blend them till you have a smooth consistency. So you can either decide to blend the ingredients straight away or fry them and then blend them. Either way it's fine. Now. The secret ingredient for this stew is the pimento allspice. So I just added one tablespoon of it in my blender. For flavors, I will add half a teaspoon of chili and garlic seasoning, half a teaspoon of southern fried seasoning, half a teaspoon of salt, one shrimp cube and two tablespoons of aniseed. So as you can see, my ingredients are blended smoothly. I have poured the marinade over the chicken, some of it, and I will go ahead and give it a good stir. These wings are just a pack. You can use more if you desire. So these wings will be steamed in its own juices till tender or steam for about 15 minutes on medium low heat. While the chicken is steaming, I will start with my sauce. To my pot, I just added half a cup of coconut oil. Once it's melted, I will go ahead and add the mixture into the pot. Fry this for about three minutes on medium heat. The next ingredients I have is the tomato paste. I am using one cube of it. Fry this for at least five minutes in order to get rid of the bitter taste. Make sure to stir 
frequently so it does not burn. So as you can see, I barely have any oil in my pot. So I will go ahead and add a bit more of the oil. And I will add two bay leaves. While the mixture is taking its time to cook, I will go ahead and check on the steamed chicken wings. At this point, it's not steamed to my preference, and so I will allow it to steam for a bit longer. Just look at the mixture. It's now time for me to add one tin of organic chopped tomato. You can also use fresh tomatoes. And then I will give it a good stir. Allow the mixture to cook on medium low heat for about 25 to 30 minutes. So while the mixture is taking its time to cook, I will check on the chicken wings. And as you can see, they are done. I will go ahead and remove them from the pot and set it aside while I wait for the oil to heat up. Let's check on the mixture. So, I had some chicken stock left, which I just added in my pot and will give it a good stir. At this point, my oil is hot. I will go ahead and fry the chicken wings till it's golden brown. Once they are fried, I will set it aside for later use. Now, when making chicken stew, you can use any chicken of your choice. Whole chicken, chicken drumsticks, chicken fillets, or chicken wings. Okay? I am now going to add flavors in the sauce. So I have Southern Fried Seasoning, Curry Powder, Paprika Powder, Chili and Garlic Seasoning, Shrimp Cubes. Once I've added all my seasonings, I will go ahead and mix this well. You can use any seasonings of your choice, okay? Now, you want to add your chicken towards the last five to seven minutes of your sauce being cooked through. This way, the chicken will absorb all the flavors of the stew. When the sauce has thickened up and the oil has risen to the surface, it means your sauce is ready. Just look at the outcome. Isn't it gorgeous? Food is ready and it's time to serve. Thank you for staying through till the end of this video. Share this video with friends and family. Thank you and stay blessed.